welcome to the quick sitemap builder from Ericosoft and it's for Movierize sites and it's very simple to use. So first of all let's have a look at how we install it. Um, in your uh, zip file that you'll receive you will have a folder called sitemap maker. Now all you have to do is go to your main site and upload the sitemap maker folder to your main site folder and you will see you now have a new new folder called sitemap maker and within that there is various files so that's the setup done that was quick wasn't it okay so now once we've we set up the uh, or uploaded the files we can go to the site and create our sitemap now all you do is browse to your um, file, your, your domain name plus sitemap maker um, and you will come to this screen. And the first thing you'll want to do is to set up a new um, password, so one that you can remember. So the default um, password is set in your um, user guide so we type in the default password and we're now logged in so we go to set password and then you can set your new password and a new password has now been set um, that you'll be able to remember um, and it's fully encrypted in the back end. So let's go back to the create sitemap and as we're now logged in um, you will see a button there and the button says fetch the site page file names. Now this will now look at the root folder of your site and find all the HTML, PHP um, and other file types that are web pages. So you just click that and where we go there's all the files that is found in the in the root folder. Now we can now exclude files from the sitemap simply by clicking the box. So if you want to exclude some of your pages from the sitemap and from robots um, indexing them so you would just highlight the pages that you don't want um, indexed. So let's see, we're just nearly there. Okay, so we don't want any of those files indexed in our sitemap. So we can now choose whether we want to include the files in our fight, uh, sitemap as HTTP files or if you're only using HTTPS on your site, uh, you have an SSL and you're redirecting everything to HTTP, then you can, if you wish, have them all listed as HTTPS or you can have them listed as both. Um, this may cause some problems with Google if you do have them on both, but the option is there anyway. You can then select the frequency that your pages are going to be updated. Um, so you can select from the list of monthly, weekly, daily, yearly, hourly, always or never. And these are the seven that Google recognizes. Okay, so that's simple. That's all done. That's, now we can now create our sitemap. And the sitemap has now been created and put in the root folder of our website. We can also then create the robots text file, which we've just done, and that's now in our root folder. So now we can have a look and see what it created. So if we go to our root folder of our website and have a look for the sitemap file, there it is. So we'll have a look at that. And here is the sitemap file all created for us. With all, uh, which complies with all the Google 
requirements and as you can see it has all the files um, and their locations the date it was last modified which will be the date we click the button um, how often it's changed and the priority point 0.5 is the sort of industry standard for the priorities um, and as you can see all the files that we listed are there and all the files that we excluded are not okay so that's the sitemap so now let's have a look at the robots text file that it created and there is the robots text file again it complies with all the usual standards so we told it not to allow robots to um, index those pages so they're all listed as disallowed and the sitemap is listed at the bottom to tell the uh, bots where the sitemap is so that's it it's as simple as that you can create a sitemap in a matter of a few seconds and keep your sitemap up to date every time you republish your site you can come back to this page log in and recreate your sitemap and your robots text any sitemap or robots text already in your root folder will be replaced with the new one that you create here and then when you finish you can log out so nobody else can then get in and uh, alter your sitemap okay have fun and enjoy